I always said, even at my age, I'm his help. I made a commitment when he got cancer, I would drive him every day of my life. And we were blessed. Nothing seriously happened. And I, it just, overall, everything has just been so good about this whole experience. I, I just, and, and these people over here have been a big part of it. Every week we have a panini breakfast and we talk about how the gym went. Any other questions we have that we're going to be working on during the week. So we're very close. We hunt and we fish together. He's the love of my life, our only child. And so, I'm just, excuse me, I'm so blessed to have him. He's inspired me uh, when he first had cancer to, to kind of spur me to start to get active. And um, when, he can, when he comes here, I mean, it's our, our thing. We, it's our time to work out and then our time to debrief afterwards and discuss who did what and who's beating who, lifting more weight and stuff like that. But it's just been a, a really good bonding experience. We're, we're close as it is, um, but even this whole journey of cancer has made us even closer. I'm going to continue on with the exercise. It's, it's part of my life and I need to do that um, just to continue to stay healthy that if anything else arises down the line I'll be prepared to, to take it head on. Because once you start it becomes part of your life. It almost has to to keep fit and have that regimented program um, is so important. So um, I think it, it's going to keep the both of us doing it together going forward. We may not essentially do it together all the time but it's something we can get together and do at least a couple times a week, hopefully. We call it ACE, Alberta Cancer Exercise ACE, is a what we call a hybrid effectiveness implementation study. So what we're looking at is two different aspects. Number one, the effectiveness of implementing exercise for cancer survivors. And we're also looking at how best to deliver exercise programming in the community um, across the province of Alberta. Terry initially was coming to support James who was undergoing uh, cancer treatments for brain tumor and so what we found with the brain tumor group is that it's actually better to actually implement the exercise early on prior to them starting their their chemotherapy or their radiation therapy and we can actually help them to um, maintain their muscle strength reduce some of the symptoms associated with treatment um, so we've changed kind of how we're approaching exercise with that with our brain tumor group um, to try to support them better through their cancer treatments. In contrast, uh, Terry had prostate cancer and so for him some of the challenges are how do I become a long-term exerciser to help to reduce the risk of recurrence and, and improve my overall survival from prostate cancer. And so in his case we're trying to support him to find ways to exercise and um, to become a long-term, make, make exercise part of what he does long-term.